welcome back everybody. I'm one block at a time and this is my let's play series on the GGMC server. Uh, we left off last time uh, having a little bit of a dilemma with our villager issue. Uh, I've decided that Doc M's infinite breeding uh, villager system isn't going to be the one for me. Uh, instead I'm going with Tango Tech's villager breeder and uh, I'm also going with his um, trading hall, I guess we'll call it. Uh, so this is just the first module I've built here. Uh, do I have? I have some wood on me. Um, it's a pretty cool design. I'll have a link to his uh, video about building this in the description below. Let me just go ahead and get a couple chests here. So I'll put that there, put that there. And uh, let's get rid of this so you can see it. All right, so uh, right up there is, oh, shoot. Did not want to do that. <laughs> it's okay, I'll place this down again. Here we go. Let me reset the system. Okay. I think we can go up here, actually. Let me uh, show you exactly what's going on here. This is the redstone. It's a one by... It's a one wide. It's... How tall is it, though? It's one, two, three, four, five... Ooh, I did not think I was going to make that. Five. Right where I leave off? Five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's one by nine, it looks like. Um, how can I do this here? I don't have any end of rolls. I need to go back to the end and do it and uh, get some end of rolls, but I don't have any right now. Anyways, uh, right up there, right where you see the fence gate. That's a will be a water channel, and then what happens is um, the mobs flow to the gate. Since the gate blocks the water, they fall down. They fall through this trip wire here, and land right here. And there's usually uh, half blocks around, so they cannot get out. Uh, See, so yeah, I mean, obviously I can go sideways, but this way I can't get out. And then um, basically I'll breed with them, or I'll breed with them. I'll I won't be doing any breeding with them. Um, I'll trade with them until I don't like their trade anymore or until I have just good uh, perfect villagers here and then I will hit this button this will retract and they'll fall down and die and then um, with the with this hooked up to the infinite breeder uh, a short time later the uh, villagers will fall back a new villager will fall back into this uh, this cell here and uh, it's ex it's expandable you know I mean I'm gonna have I know last episode I said I was going to put it on the on the uh, surface. I think I'm just going to put it down here in this room because I have a whole lot of space here that I dug out. And I'm not really sure what I'm going to put in here because uh, my sheep farm, if I ever get around to building it, is going to be that direction over there. My cows are over there. I've got my chicken cooker here. And I'm going to be making one that gives me raw chicken instead of cooked chicken. Like this one gives me cooked for now. Um, but I'm going to put the raw chicken one right here. And then, um, you know, so I think what I'm just going to do is, is I'm going to I'm going to surround this wall with it, maybe, like this. Or maybe I'll just extend, maybe I'll just build or dig this backwards and extend it that direction. I don't know, like 10 or so uh, spots or 16 slots or whatever. I don't know. We'll figure it out. And then when these are filled and, um, you know, I don't want any other villagers in them, the villagers that uh, breed and then come up through the system will go all the way through, not find an empty spot, and then go to some place where they get killed. Um, I've decided that this is the end spot, so really the villagers will be coming this direction and down. Um, so what will probably happen is they'll flow up there, this direction. Once they get to here, there's going to be nothing. Then they'll circle around and go somewhere over there. To be uh, killed, just dropped into a um, you know a one wide lava trap um, because 
I don't know if you didn't if you knew this, but I didn't know it. Um, if a villager dies within 16 blocks of you, and there's other villagers around, um, the villagers will stop breeding and automatically blame you for that villager's death. So since we don't want that to happen, you just have them go that direction, 16 blocks away, away from the breeding cell, which is going to going to be down, probably going to be down, um, and uh, the villager is here. Where does where is there a, a I keep hearing a clicking sound like something's walking on a pressure plate but I can't seem to find out where it's coming from oh uh, yeah I'm going to get back to work on building these cells and I'm also going to dig down and when once I've got this as far away as I'm going to build it I'm going to dig down and build the breeding cell and then transport my villagers, which I still have. I still have three villagers. I'm going to transport them down into the cell and then, uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll give you guys a progress update or, or something like that when I've got a little bit more stuff complete. All right, I'll see you in a few minutes. Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, I just figured while I was building this, I might as well show you guys how to make at least one of these. Um, if you didn't want to go and watch the YouTube video that um, Tango did. Uh, so what we need here is we need three sticky pistons and one regular piston for this design for just one of these um, I don't even know what it's called for, for one of these little cells I guess is a good name for it. Uh, so let's go ahead and get three more of these pistons there and put that there. Put these up. Okay, I need three sticky pistons and I have the one regular piston ready to go. Alright, so as you can see I've already built three I've only built three so far. Uh, so let's see here, one, um, one piece of redstone dust, gosh I'm drawing blanks like crazy, one piece of redstone dust goes right where I'm pointing, you can't see it right now, uh, let's put that there, okay, one piece of redstone dust goes there with a block on top, you put a redstone torch here with redstone dust leading out, into a block with a redstone torch on the back and a block on top and then you put a redstone torch on top of that block with a sticky piston facing away and you put your soul sand right here and while we're standing here we're gonna go ahead and put a button right here on the front of this and this controls this portion right here And then, let's see here, um, we need our regular piston right here, and we need another block off the back here with a red piece of redstone dust on it, and another block here, or a block on top of this dust, a redstone torch right here, let's just jump over here, a repeater, which I still have some of, good facing this direction into another block right here and you're going to put some redstone dust on top of that and a block on top of the repeater and then we're going to put a block on top of the piston with a piece of redstone dust on top of that and a torch on the side and on this block, we're going to put another resin torch right here. And then, let's see here, what am I going to do now? We're going to put another block on top of this torch here. A um, piece of redstone dust here. And then we're going to put a uh, block right here a redstone torch on top of that 
I don't know where that sound's coming from. It's been driving me insane. I even downloaded a 3D texture pack just to see if I could see like a dispenser somewhere. Can't find it anywhere. Sorry. <laughs> to get back to what we're working on. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and clear out some more space. So we have this redstone torch here. Uh, we're going to put a block right here. And then at this point in time, we're going to go ahead and put down our tripwire. Put a tripwire there. And tripwire hook here. With attached, attached string to it. So that's all set up there. And then we are going to put a piston there with a block on it. And on top of that piston, we're going to put another piston. And on top of this block that we just placed, we are going to put a fence gate and open the gate. Then I'm going to grab this so I can get over here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get a half slab and place it upside down on this block with a piece of redstone on top of that. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and break this. I don't want it to have broken anything, so I'll just break it. Um, we're going to go ahead and place our wall up here. Put that one there, and one there. So that way they can't be jumping around. And... Can I get through here? Nope. I can't get back that way either. Okay. Well. Um, I'll go this way. Alright, so that's closed right now. It's not letting anybody, anything else drop in. So what we need to do here is we need to refresh it. And it pulls that block back. And uh, makes it so stuff can fall back in. And just to make sure, just to further test it and to make sure that it works, uh, let's go ahead up here. been building this over so that way I have somewhere that I can walk on. I don't think it's messing anything up. It hasn't so far anyways. Uh, let's go ahead and block, knock out these blocks here. This block here. Alright, so when I fall into this hole that piston down there should it um, should push out, and then this piston should pull this one back in. This isn't out though, so I might have done something wrong. Yep, did something wrong. Okay, well that's okay. This happens all the time. Pretty much the only reason why it's taking me so long to build. there and that goes there. We have redstone torch there. I need to clear this all out so I can move. Oh, I know what I did. I need to put this here. I need to put a block here. This powers this redstone, which pushes this block out. There we go. That should f fix the problem. Let's go ahead and get rid of this. Actually, pull that back in. Okay. Um, oh, and then I need to put that block back. All right. So if you look right now, that piston has the fence on it now. And that means that water will flow over this block to the next one right here. And when I 
press this button. This is going to retract. The solid block retracted and the fence is now back in place, letting villager fall into it, but no water flow past. So this, this area won't be skipped. And then once a villager falls in, that block there comes out, the fence pulls back again, and this is now a occupied space. So I'm gonna get back to work here and I will catch you guys in a few minutes. All right guys, welcome back. I just realized I only have one diamond left out of my diamond stash, so I'm not gonna be able to enchant my, or repair my tools. I went ahead and started making uh, <clears throat> um, iron tools again until I get some more of these diamond ones. I don't want to lose my work pick because I think that one's pretty good there. And I don't want to lose my sword. Um, so I enchanted this 23 levels and it's not too bad. I'll take it. Unbreaking is what I really wanted just because it's iron. I don't want it to break super fast. And efficiency 4 is not something I'm going to complain about. Fortune 2. Nah, that's cool. I don't really care. It doesn't matter too much. I've got plenty of fortune stuff. Um, I've gone ahead and finished up the rest of the trading cells here. They're all finished, and as far as I know, or I can tell, they are in working order. All the redstone's done. So that's cool. Uh, and I went ahead and built the uh, trough here that'll take them to their deaths. Actually, we're going to go ahead and kind of fill these spots in here because I don't want them... Which one is this one here? Okay, yeah, uh, here. That's all good, that's good, that's good, all right. All the way to here, This underneath this block is a drop, 18 or 19 blocks. I don't know if that'll kill him, but I'm going to put the lava down there so it's not going to matter. So let me go ahead and get up out of here. <clears throat> Just so we're safe. Alright, so that took a little while, but I'm glad that it's done, and let's go ahead and seal up this hole here. Right there. Put our nether brick on here. And I'm just started growing up a big batch of trees, so we're going to go ahead and make all of our chests. So let's do that right now. That should be enough, I think. Might not be, but we'll see. And these spaces on the side here are for chests. They don't have to be chests, but that's what I'm going to use them for. I can store what I get what I get from the trades in these. I need two more chests. Um, two. All right, cool. Oh, shit. Actually, perfect. All right, so that's all completed. I've got my lighting in the ground here. Um, in the video, I think they use like redstone lamps or something like that, but I'm gonna keep it on the cheap. And that arrow sound, I think I've been pranked I don't know. I've gone and I've I've done this whole thing with the redstone blocks and the fences. Let me just go ahead and drop this down here so you guys can see what I'm talking about. I don't know. I don't know where the hell it's coming from. It's driving me insane. <clears throat> Let's dig three in here. Put this here. I don't, I don't know where it's coming from. <clears throat> oh, there's a lot of slimes over there. Wow. It sounds like it's like right on top of me all the time, and I can't figure it out. I think I'm gonna go back over there and try it next. I, I don't know. Any more villagers around, actually? Just looking to see if there's any more villagers inside these caves. I think I killed them all. <coughs> I think they're all dead, finally. 
on my last video, I looked in the comments, and one of the other uh, players on the server was saying that that's where all the lag came from. So I apologize to everybody uh, about the lag. It was an accident. I did take care of it myself as quickly as possible. Like, you can hear that, though. I listened to some of the, the video, and I can hear it. It sounds like something is hitting a pressure plate or a button. Just now it happened again. And then every now and then I hear an arrow hit the wall. And I can't figure out where it's coming from. I'm going to have to go on our forums and figure out if someone has pranked me. And what I think is triggering it, if it is, if someone did prank me, it's going to be a, a jungle cat. Uh, since they don't make any noise, uh, it could be in the floor, in the wall somewhere, and it just you know runs over a pressure plate every single time I walk by, and then the, uh, the dispenser shoots an arrow into the wall. I thought for sure it would be out of arrows by now, but maybe it is. I don't know. Uh, but I think we're going to go ahead and let's see here. See, here it is again. I don't know where it's coming from. We're going to tear out this wall real fast. What did I do? What did I hit? Everything okay? Oh, I triggered that. Okay, that's fine. So this is our walkway here. Or our... Not our walkway. I keep thinking I'm going to dig into this... This prank, but I never do. I don't know who did it. It's clever, though. Very clever indeed. ahead and build these walls up here. So that way they can't just walk off the edge into my into my wiring. There we go. Missed it. Missed it again. There we go. Cool. Just make sure all these at least are working from this end. That worked. That one worked. Cool. Good and good all right so all these seem to be working at least um, let's see here can I put I think I can put blocks here yeah yeah I can now that I'm thinking of the design I, I can put blocks here that's good do I have any more torches no I don't oh well Cool, 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 cool. There we go. So there we go. There's our waterway. Um, <clears throat> and we're going to dig this way a little ways. Actually, let me get rid of this. Where my fences go. There they are. Uh, next thing we're going to do is we're going to build the breeding cell. First, I want to make sure I can get this to the surface. Okay. I don't think there's any water above me. At least not directly. There is a lot of slimes over there. I'm gonna have to go over there and <laughs> deal with those slimes. I don't. I mean, I don't hear them, so I guess they're not really bothering me. So I guess I probably just leave them. Um, just looking around, seeing if I can see anything. Of interest. I need to. I need to light up all of these caves. So that's going to be joyous. Okay, and there's that zombie spawner there. There's also a zombie spawner down over there that I've already gotten. I guess I use those as <clears throat> crude XP farms. And then let's 
Put a redstone torch down here. And we're going to dig straight up to the surface. I'll leave that there, though. back to me. And let's dig up again. Tower up, I should say. And this is just so I can transport the villagers down here, because I was going to build the uh, zombie, or the trap down underground, but now I've decided I'm just going to probably just leave it where it is. That way I can control it a little bit easier, and then I'll transport the villagers uh, via water channels over to here and then drop them down and underneath so that shouldn't be too big of a, of a hassle yeah here okay cool so this is where this is gonna be that's that's to mark it for us go ahead and kill these guys Let's go over here real quick. I think this is where all those... They're like directly beneath me, I think, right here. I'll just leave them. Like I said, I can't hear them from my base, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Actually, when I was uh, first building here, people were saying that I was going to hate it over here because of all the slimes. I don't get bothered by the slimes that much. They don't seem to come very close to my base so that's a plus I need to go get a lead I'm tired of that uh, that guy being in the water so let's see here do I have I actually have the stuff to make that right now uh, let's do this it's this isn't it with a slime ball it is that's the right one that's it And let's go ahead and close this up. Come on, stupid, let's go. <clears throat> Come on. Get out of the water. One more block. Okay, let's do half slabs out. Oh, now you can get out. This guy over here. Pain in my ass. Don't go back in the water. Don't, uh, get back out though, good. All right, so I'm thinking about getting rid, or at least covering this pond here. It's just kind of become a hassle having to deal with it. So let's put this down real quick. And we'll attach the lead to that. So I think I might what I might just do is might just cover it with a layer of dirt. But that's for another time. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on the breeding cell. I need to get a daylight sensor, so I'm gonna have to. Actually, I think I have another rack, but I don't know how to build it. Is it? I know it's like. I'll figure it out. So I'm gonna go ahead and start working on this, um, and then I will see you guys in a few minutes. All right. Alright guys, welcome back. Uh, just doing a quick progress update and we will end the episode. Um, I've got the breeding cell complete. However, I did lose a villager in the process. I accidentally drowned him. Yeah, that's right. I'm going to make a great parent one day. Drowning my children. Uh, so I've kind of... Cr I opened up my front door down there so that zombies were able to track into here. And then into that area where that zombie is right there. And that's where the doors are going to go. And I'm hoping that I can get a villager zombie to go in there. I've already got my weakness potion and a golden apple ready. 
and uh, hopefully, like I said, hopefully, fingers crossed, hopefully we can get a, uh, a, a villager zombie in there. And um, uh, yeah, so this is this is it. This close chamber here is where the baby zombie or ba baby villagers will be pushed into. The farther chamber over there is the actual breeding cell itself. Um, let's see here. Am I forgetting anything else? Um, I think that's it. I mean, I just have to put the daylight sensor back on so that way everything starts working. And then um, that column right there is our... What's that right there? That is where our drop will be to our uh, our breed or our trading hall. So that's where we're going to have to bring the uh, water channel over to. Um... But yeah, that's for another episode. I was hoping to get this all done today, but uh, complications and things got in the way. So um, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Make sure to like, favorite, and subscribe if you're not already subscribed already. And I will see you guys next time. Have a good one.